Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm just kind of looking at the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice versus the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. And I, I was working with, I've been working with both of them in all honesty over the past, say, two, two weeks. And then I jumped in between, maybe used a Tarte palette, maybe used some Makeup Geek. So I've kind of been all over the place playing with different colors, palettes, etc. And I kind of noticed something. Kind of noticed something. So we have a theme with the spices. Um, they're, they're really, in some ways, seems to be very close in colors. And at first glance, we've got you know, some pinky colors. We have some um, sugar daddy and something sweet seems to be close. We have some oranges, pretty as pumpkin, spice is nice. You know, we have some goldish shimmers. We have fall into fudge is lighter than reindeer paws. But we have some sweater weather that could go next to figgy pudding. Cinnamon stick is more brown than spiced rum, but overall when I was looking at these two side by side, I really, I started seeing they're similar, but a little different. I know that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but um, although I love this blushing pumpkin, really love that blushing pumpkin. So the colors are, are similar, not spot on, not spot on, but... In all honesty, I'm looking at, and after testing these and this, there there is kind of a difference in how they play out. So, this palette here, which is the Pumpkin Spice, I absolutely love the fact that Too Faced brought in kind of the Nove October, November holidays with Pumpkin Spice. So, cheers to Too Faced for taking time for that fall kind of, fun where everyone is rushing into Christmas, including them with the gingerbread spice. But I noticed that these 16 shadows perform like their normal holiday palettes, which is eh. And I still have one more to test out, so we'll see how that one goes. But I mean, they're okay, but the color payout in this pumpkin spice like is a lot lighter than what it looks like in the pan. So then you look at almost a very similar palette. Again, not spot on. Um, they didn't dupe themselves, but they got really close. Hands down, I would pick this palette between the two. The reason why is this formula tends to be a little bit more like their steady formulas, like their peach palettes. Um, looking over there, their chocolate palettes. These pay off like you would expect one of those palettes to, to do a color payout. This one lives up to their holiday palettes where they just really don't pay off as well. And I don't understand it. So this one's made in China. And this one, that one's assembled, bulk made in the US, assembled in the Dominican Republic. So, and I think I, I need to go back through some of my old videos. I think I had that same problem with some of these palettes last year. They're made in China. And I don't know if because they're made in China, you've got a different facility making them than something like this. But there is definitely a difference. So, enough said. I've been rambling over and over. And, um, but yeah, I just kind of, the light bulb went off that, hmm. We need to do a quick video on this. We need to let the, the subscribers know that if they're going for spice, they probably want to, you probably want to go for this spice and go ahead and not do this spice. Just my thoughts. If you guys have tried either of these palettes, tell me what your, you think about the color payoff. Do you, do you see a difference? Um, well, you may not see a difference if you've only bought one. If you've bought both, tell me what you think. Um, if you've bought one or the other, I'd really like to hear what your feedback is because I'm curious if, is it just me? And it could be just me. Maybe I got a, a weird light palette versus one that really has color payout. So it could just be me. 
I can accept that. So anyways, if you have any thoughts, suggestions, uh, comments, questions, please put those below because I'm really, really curious to hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. I want to hear it. All right. We'll talk soon.